Hello everyone, this is Edray1416 here with a video in regards to 2017. As I look back at this year, there have been many highs and many lows. Of course, because Vidly did not exist in the first half of 2017, I have to talk about YouTube. In early 2017, my time as a commentator for the controversial series Conservative Commentaries came to an end because I was burned out. I was ready to go back to my roots as an educator. I also did a couple of advertisements for local businesses here in Southeast Texas, earning me respect locally. I talked about my love for the flea market. I also talked about health, social views, etc. It wasn't until April 6, 2017 when I made a video on Chris Chan in regards to him selling his dead father's stamp collection. People initially thought I was crazy considering that Chris Chen is old news, but people were on my side after I called him out for auctioning his vintage polo shirt on eBay for $12,500. That was what caused my channel to explode in popularity for a short time. When Vidly launched, it came back originally as the second incarnation of Vidbit back in June of 2017. When Vidly launched, it had the 2006 YouTube layout, something that changed to the 2008 layout as time went along. With this site, Everyone from the original Vidbit wanted answers as to why that site shut down. It wasn't until June 13, 2017 that Crafting Lord 21 made a video stating that Jan, owner of Vidbit, shut down the site because of intellectual property issues. I joined Vidly on June 5, 2017, and originally I uploaded some educational videos on this site. After a while, the quality of Vidly improved and I felt motivated to make a video for Vidly. So that was when my channel took off. The first time I was featured on Vidly was my video called The Social Decline in America. This video basically talked about how people were using their phones to talk rather than people talking to each other's faces. I was featured again for Law Enforcement versus Private Security, a video explaining the pros and cons of both entities and why private security is important in ghettos. But the biggest featured video in my time here on Vidly is the YouTube mentality. Not only did it become my most popular video, but I also got multiple responses from people like Spiderfan, Crafting Lore 21, and DWYT. This ultimately led to my 100 subscriber special. Because of this, I believe I peaked to the number 5 most subscribed channel on Vidly at the time. Thankfully, I'm not in the top 10 now because the last thing I want are users gunning for me. What happened after August? Hurricane Harvey made landfall in Texas, and it started raining heavily. The big flood occurred two days later after my video on Lyndon B. Johnson. When the big flood occurred, there was no power, people were going nuts over food, and it was hot. If you want to know the full story in Hurricane Harvey, I'll put a link in the description. Because of that experience, I had no internet access. The only time I was on the internet was for a brief period of time letting people know that I'm alive and doing my best. It wasn't until the end of November when my sister finally loaned me her computer that contained a built-in Wi-Fi connection that I started doing videos finally. I made my first video since Hurricane Harvey called Internet Pioneers, Sean Baby. It was a huge return for me and everyone here on Vidly was excited. Because of the warm reception I got for my return, I felt motivated to do more videos. For the people that I've done videos on, Johnny Millennium and Sean Baby liked the videos on them. While I may not have gotten feedback from James Rolfe and Slow Beef, one can assume they didn't either pay attention to the video or didn't have a problem. Grant you that I'm toning down on the amount of videos I'm making, I worked hard to make a big comeback to end to get featured a couple of times this month was amazing. So many people have seen the changes in me since my return. I've become a lot calmer, more informative, more passionate to do any video, etc. A lot of people in the old days remember me as being over the top, angry, and would take things way too literally. But Hurricane Harvey changed me and made me realize that I can make good videos without threatening to go to war with people every time they did something I didn't agree with. To conclude the year 2017, I want to say thank you to everyone for your love and support throughout the good times and the bad times. December has been an incredible month for me, but let's make 2018 a great year here on Vidly. Let's make it to where we get more legitimately entertaining videos to watch. I'm not saying there isn't good content, but I'm saying there should be more good content in the months to come thanks to the attention the site is getting. I wish you users the best in 2018, and I will do the best to create good content. Anyway, I'm Ed Ray, I'm out of here, and Happy New Year!